Welcome back. It is 540 September baby safety month and it may sound like a no brainer, but so many child injuries are preventable and there are free resources you might find helpful. So we turn to the State Department of Family and Protective Services for some help. The most common fatalities that we review are co-sleeping deaths and drownings. Those are the two most prevalent types of fatalities that we see. Kids don't come with an instruction manual, but there are groups and resources that can help. This is a look at the Child Protective Services website. It's quite helpful. From safe sleeping to warnings about SIDS and shaking a baby, even a list of ways to help calm a crying baby. The newborn and infant period is so vulnerable Raquel Galvan is a child safety specialist with CPS. She reviews high risk cases and deaths for children under four. I think that parents genuinely have the best intentions when it comes to their children. Of course, nobody wants anything to happen to their child. So I think that with the resources that we have avail available and that we continue to have these conversations about safety as little reminders, um, that will help all of us as a community keep these children safe. Welcome back. Well, September is nine months into the year and it's appropriately become Baby Safety Month, a time to remind parents to do a safety check of their homes and their routines. This morning, we are talking about something many parents find frustrating, installing a car seat. And while it may be a pain to find all the hooks to secure their car seat, it could be life saving. I always tell my kids they're not called purposes, they're called accidents. You don't know when they're going to happen. So you always want to make sure that your children are secure in a car seat, even if you're just going around the corner. We want to make sure that they're strapped in. If you need help figuring out how to install a car seat in San Antonio, you can call 211. Many police stations and fire departments can help too. Raquel Galvan with Child Protective Services says a problem this summer was children being left in hot cars. There were two cases that she covered in a 24 hour period where children were put in harm's way. Just if remembering that the children are in the car, ways you can do that is put something significant in the back seat, maybe like your phone or your purse or um, the keys, you know, if the car operates without a key, putting that in the back seat as a reminder that the child is back there. Other things to consider about car seats. You might be in a hurry to turn your infant forward facing, but the National Highway Safety Traffic Administration recommends waiting till they are over the age of three. Continue using a booster seat till your kids are about 11 to 12 years old. And as we approach the cooler months, avoid strapping your kids with bulky jackets and coats. 